Hey everyone, before I get into this preview today, I'd like to pay a little tribute to Ron Rattenberger and Ayrton Senna. Two friends, but also legends of the sport that tragically lost their lives just over 30 years ago. You'll both be remembered. Welcome to the preview of the Imola Grand Prix. Today I'm going to give you some facts about the track, some history of it, how the weekend's going to work, and as always, my bold prediction. <laughs> and guess what? I was telling you right last week, Hulkenberg scored points in the sprint, so technically I was right. Who's now? Thank you very much, Magnuson. <laughs> Imola was open for business from 1953, beginning to host F1 races from 1980. This track has a rich and sometimes sad history. It was a race that was off the calendar for nearly 15 years and made its glorious return in 2020. It was good to see it back as it's a staple of the F1 calendar, showing us some of the best showdowns we have had in F1 here. This is perfect for Jensen Button. Schumacher too busy watching each other. Schumacher pushes Montoya clean off the road. Now Ralph's having a go down the outside. It's too the track is a very all-star track with gravel traps on the end of nearly every corner. The track is 4.9 kilometers long. It features 19 corners and only one DRS zones. Being old style, it is tighter than most and not a set up for modern cars, meaning that overtaking will be at a premium during the weekend. Yes, I said zones even though it's zone, leave me alone. With the track being old style, it is tighter than most and not a set up for modern cars meaning that overtaking will be at a premium during the weekend. The lap record around the track is a 1 minute 15.484, set by Lewis Hamilton in 2020. The driver with the most wins around Imola is Mr. Imola himself, Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh. Uh, that, oh. I meant... Michael Schumacher with seven wins. Shockingly, this weekend we haven't got yeah. a sprint race. <laughs> Which means we are probably going to go back to normal Max Verstappen stuff this weekend. Woo! Woo! So everyone, get ready. You know what time it is. It's my bold prediction. And this week, I'm going to carry on the London Norris train. And I'm predicting another Lando Norris win. Yeah. I know, I know. I might be buying into the hype too much, but Norris is great around Limler. And even when the McLaren was a tractor last year, he still got a podium. Now that he actually has a good car, it gives me a good feeling. And you never know. If he wins again, we might actually have a title fight on our hands. Oh my god! Wow! Right, so now it's time for the important stuff. The schedule! We are back to normality this weekend. So, on Friday, we will have two practice sessions. With the first practice session starting at 12.30 BST. Practice 2 is at 4pm BST. Now, on to Saturday. We have practice session and qualifying. Practice 3 will be at 11.30 BST. With qualifying set to start at 3pm BST. Now, finally Sunday and here we go. We are lights out. And... 
And away we go at 2 p.m. BST. Crofty, I nailed it. I would just like to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting these videos and for everyone watching for the first time. Without you, we couldn't do this. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob Squat Pants!